Raquel and today I'm here to talk to you about my insecurities, all of my insecurities. So if you're new to the channel, I'm 24, I am Portuguese, I'm living in London and I really like to talk about these issues and my insecurities because I feel like it's something that not only brings us closer as a community, because I feel like these issues that I talk about like when I'm really raw and unedited, I'm really hard to talk about and I feel like everybody kind of thinks it in silence and doesn't bring it up, so now I'm bringing it up again. And this is probably one of the hardest videos I've ever filmed, including my acne ones, so let's get to it. So I actually don't have really dark armpits, which some people do, and that's like the main complaint when it comes to armpits. But I've always had like these lines, because when I close it, it kind of like folds here, so it creates these wrinkles and it might not seem like a big deal but I was always really self-conscious about them I kind of like let it go now but when I was younger I would feel really bad about them and I wouldn't want to like open my arms and show them because I used to see those Dove commercials and they had like baby smooth skin in their armpits and I know they're edited but the thing is it's just <sighs> It's one of those things that's like a stupid insecurity and you know it makes absolutely no sense but you still feel very self-conscious about it. Boobs wise, I'm actually pretty happy with them right now but when I was younger I did want to have them bigger but I'm glad that didn't happen because I actually like my boobs, they're really small and cute and very comfortable! So when once this was maybe an insecurity, now I'm absolutely in love with them even though one is slightly, not so slightly bigger than the other. But yeah, you know what? Let's work with that. Another one of my insecurities is probably my arms. Like, I have really chubby arms. Even when I'm like super fit and thin, I have chubby arms. It's, it runs in my family, everyone has them. But I especially, like, I've always become aware of them and they jiggle like a hell of a lot because I don't really exercise. But even when I do exercise, they're always really large. They might not jiggle as much, but they're large, chubby. Uh, arms. And I was always very aware of that whenever I wore tank tops or anything that would show off my arms. Especially in the vlog where I got tattooed, this tattoo. She was like pressing the tattoo and everything and you can see that it's all fat and chubbiness and ugh. When it comes to my stomach, it kind of comes and goes. I mean there are days when I wake up and I've had nothing to eat and it looks really flat. But even then I have this annoying little curve here. I know this is just like, this is not even fat, it's just like a filled out muscle. But it just annoys me to no end. And like, okay, this is me pulling it in. This is me absolutely normal. And, well, I don't love it. But I know like this is like most people. But even when I'm like pulling it in or have nothing in my stomach, I like it to be like this which kind of sounds like perfect and insane, but yeah. So it jiggles a lot. And of course, when I sit, I've got the rolls, but I also have like a little bit of cellulite here as well, which happens when I do this or something. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it does happen. I also have like a little bit of love handles here. Remember when we used to wear pants like, they were so low, like in the 2000s, I think it happens with a lot of people where you have like a curve and then a dent and then another curve uh, because the pre the pants apply pressure here so much. Even when I wear like a dress or something, this dent right here is kind of noticeable. When I wear like pants like this, it's impossible because it just comes out like like a muffin. It's just, it's, it's not good. Comes to my ass, I actually have a really like round ass because, you know, Brazilian family. I'm very proud of it, but with a round ass comes a lot of cellulite and a lot of jiggliness. I also don't exercise, so that might be why. But yes, all around very jiggle. And I have a lot of spidery veins as well because, you know, they're very large, so they're very like, they have weight on them and that just breaks in a little to the side. Also, don't have a thigh gap, which I never really cared about anyway, but when you're wearing a skirt or at the beach and you're walking, especially in the heat, they just kind of rub against each other and it's very uncomfortable. Plus this right here jiggles like hell. I never really had much issue with my legs. I mean, they're legs, but I really always had like ingrown hairs and everything because I have really thick hairs in my legs. It kind of started getting better now that I'm doing laser hair removal and 
It just looks smoother and everything. But you can still see that I have like all the pores are kind of noticeable and it used to be a lot, lot worse. And my biggest insecurity is actually my acne and my face skin. Um, it's starting getting really bad again this year. Uh, I don't know actually the specific reason, but I started doing acupuncture. I don't know if it's gonna help, but it is bringing out a lot of crap that I know I had like close comedons that are not coming out and everything like that. So we'll see. But even though you can cover it up with makeup, a lot of texture still shows through and peeks through and I just absolutely hate it. And when people like invite you to go to the beach, to go to anywhere that involves taking off your makeup, swimming, uh, inside pool, whatever it is, I'd like to tell you that I power through that and I go have fun. The truth is, I probably will make up an excuse and not go or just not go. I just can't stand people like looking at me. I can't even look people in the eye when I'm not wearing makeup unless it's someone I really know that knows what I'm going through. And I honestly don't know if I'll ever be okay with having acne. I'd like to think that someday, if this eventually keeps going, that I'll just accept it, but... So with this video, I kind of just wanted to tell you, like, obviously I'm not telling you that I hate myself. To be honest, when I'm by myself, I'm actually really comfortable with myself, except for my skin. That's the only thing I really still breaks me down when I look in the mirror and I'm seeing everything that's happening. Also because I feel it a lot. It's very, like, painful because my skin is so sensitive. There's things we always want to change, and I just wanted to bring up some light in that. I know that some people have it a lot worse than I do, some people have it better. It's just, like... Everybody has insecurities, no matter how perfect or unperfect you think they are. And some people deal with it a lot better than others. I think I deal with it kind of well. It could be better and I definitely think I have a long way into actually accepting myself and be like really fearless and have no shame when it comes to like being in front of others and strangers specifically. But I also think I've grown a lot and I've been a lot worse and I've been a lot more insecure about myself. And realistically, it all comes down to society's idea of the perfect person and perfect physique and everything like that and in my mind I'm like I don't care about that crap I don't care I can be whoever I want and nobody has the right to judge me and that's absolutely perfectly true but when it comes to like being that person in real life I still choke up a little and I think I just want to tell you like it's perfectly fine to have insecurities and it's the way you deal with them that kind of matters and I hope that by putting this forward and putting this video forward as well, it not only helps you, but it also helps me a little kind of deal better with my insecurities. And I've always kind of been like this, mostly, especially my weight. It hasn't fluctuated a lot. There was this year at college when I got really, really fit and I exercised every day and I didn't eat carbs and it was hell, but my body was banging. But even then I had a lot of insecurities about my belly, about my thighs, about my cellulite that would never go away. So it's really finding like that comfort spot where you still might have insecurities, but they don't like destroy you. And that's kind of, I think, the point of the video. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but hopefully I am. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope it doesn't get like reported and banned from YouTube. And subscribe to the channel for more. And if you want to share with me your stories and your insecurities, my comment section is wide open and I'll be responding to everyone and kind of sending you positive vibes all the way. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.